Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomepage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomepage.com app. And let me begin with a look at uh, rainfall that we've seen during the last 30 days. Uh, this is a percentage of what is normal and you can see much of the Arcletex near if not above double what is normal for the past 30 days. In other words, uh, pretty much for the month of September. Uh, so we're continuing to work through uh, eliminating the drought conditions across the Arcletex. We'll have an up to another update on the drought monitor coming up Thursday and it looks like more rain could be on the way for parts of the area for your Wednesday. You can see the uh, weather pattern taking shape. Pretty good trough across the northern sections of the country is going to usher a cold front uh, through the Oracle Techs here as we work our way uh, through Wednesday and that front will slide its way uh, all the way to the coast by Wednesday evening and behind it we will see uh, the wind shift around to the north to northeast a bit on the breezy side tomorrow and as it moves through we will see a round of uh, showers and thunderstorms that will be heaviest and most widespread over the southern sections of the Oracle Tex here, mainly East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. Uh, for a look at the timing of that, here's a look at uh, Robin's Cellular Futurecast. Again, we uh, likely have seen a few spotty showers and thunder showers across the region uh, this Tuesday afternoon. Look for that activity to wind down this evening. Then as the front moves in, you can see a little bit of rain possible across the north late tonight. And then tomorrow, the rain will increase as it encounters a little bit more instability in the atmosphere where it's a bit warmer a little bit later tomorrow afternoon. And you can see the uh, main focus by 5 p.m. will be across the southern sections of the Oracle Tex. That rain should continue to head southward. A slight chance for a spotty shower otherwise during the nighttime hours tomorrow night under a cloudy sky. And we will likely stay mostly cloudy for most of Thursday. That wind will continue out of the north and we will likely see near if not below normal temperatures uh, for much of the Oracle Tex uh, for your Thursday, especially in the morning. Uh, we'll show you the details on that in your seven-day forecast here in a second. Rainfall-wise, uh, this is, uh, again, through the next seven days. Could see a quarter to half an inch tomorrow. And then we could add a little bit more to that uh, with uh, more rain, especially Saturday. It still looks to be the next best day as far as rainfall chances. But you can see rainfall totals will be heaviest across the extreme south, maybe an inch. Sabine and Natchitoches parishes, half an inch to an inch across east Texas, northwest Louisiana, and probably a quarter to a half an inch, if not even less, across the northern sections of the area, southwest Arkansas, uh, northern northeast Texas, and southeast Oklahoma. Uh, Temperature-wise, ahead of the front tonight, another warm night for this time of year. Keep in mind, normal is now in the low 60s, pretty much area-wide, with even some upper 50s more normal across the north, and we'll be a good 10 degrees above normal tonight, with lows in the upper 60s to low 70s. Daytime highs tomorrow, not quite as warm as today, as we'll see the mid to upper 70s across the north, uh, mid 80s across the south, where the front arrives a bit later, as a pretty good uh, variation in temperatures, and again, uh, Thursday, probably for much of the area, could be the coolest day of the week ahead. Here's a look at your 70 forecast. You can see in Shreveport 80 for the daytime high Thursday with a mostly cloudy sky. Not too concerned about rain for Thursday. Next best chance of rain is looking to be Saturday and even then uh, may not be for everyone as we'll see highs low to middle 80s warming up into the upper 80s by the end of the seven day period and you can see uh, tomorrow night looking at lows in Shreveport right around 65. In Texarkana even better you're looking at highs mid to upper 70s for the next few days notice Thursday night 62 for your nighttime low uh, and then you'll ease back up to 70 for nighttime lows by next Tuesday morning daytime highs will eventually return uh, to the middle 80s and you too will have your best shot for the shower thunder storm as we look ahead to Saturday. So all in all, it looks like a uh, cold front will kind of reinforce more seasonable temperatures very briefly across the Arctic before we resume another warming trend heading into the weekend and first part of next week.